10 houses, most being a century old, are in jeopardy in Winston-Salem's Ardmore neighborhood. According to property records, these 10 properties on Lachlan Avenue are owned by Wake Forest Baptist, now Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center, and the leaders with the health care system claim they are beyond saving in addition to being home to criminal activity. Today, our Cassie Fambro toured those homes with Preservation for Scythe. It's a group advocating for those houses to be saved. As you can see, Cassie joins us live there now. So, Cassie, what do people living around these homes think about all this? Well, the turnout for this tour was really impressive. Honestly, there were more than 40 people out here that went up and down this street, really learning about the history of these old homes, most of them built in the 1920s, and they have a lot of character, and that's just one of the reasons that people around here say they want to see them stay. People say old houses don't make it. They do. These windows, look at these windows. Ten houses on Lachlan Avenue owned by Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist have a date with a wrecking ball. The organization Preservation for Scythe would like to cancel it. This house has many of its original windows and they're intact. I look at this house and I wonder when was this abandoned? George Edwards on the Preservation for Scythe Action Committee researched every facet of the houses in jeopardy. This is the Smith House, 1924. Monday evening, more than 40 people gathered to tour the homes in danger of demo, splitting into groups to learn the history of them. This one is empty, owned by the hospital, could be demolished. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist released a statement saying in part, the homes have fallen into disrepair and become a safety concern. They say due to those concerns, the best course of action is to remove the homes. It was about a month ago that we heard from facility services. The health care system let the Ardmore Neighborhood Association know of the plans to tear down the old houses in May. We don't want to see these houses go. They need work. There's no question about that. They're not perfect but they are beautiful historic homes that we should keep. The other source of frustration, the health system has not revealed their plans for the affected houses, some separated by privately owned homes on Lachlan Avenue. Walk past these houses every day and kind of want to see what's actually going on with it. And so after today, they're really rallying everyone who lives around here, asking them to call the hospital system and to change their minds and maybe reinvigorate these old homes, restore them instead of tearing them down. Live in Winston-Salem, Cassie Fambro, Fox 8 News. Like anybody's questioning the history out there, Cassie, thank you. Uh, four